Welcome back, bro. No one will attend your funeral if you have one. So I watched this clip from Chris Williamson, and he said that there is a rise in older people who has no close family. So there are older people who are lonely, lonesome, and they have no family members around them. They have a funeral, which the government pays for something in that manner. And when they die, the coroners, they see that they have been beaten. So they have like marks on their body. So they have been beaten and they have the ceremony and the funeral all alone. So the priest lowers the casket into the ground without anyone being there. There's no one that attends that funeral. So this really is something I've been thinking about way before I saw this clip. I've been thinking about this since I was a young kid. Like, who's really going to be there once I pass away? And that's really the thing I want to talk about for you too, is just if you're in the same boat as me, like if you don't really have a strong family or you believe that your family members will go before you, and you see how the world is changing rapidly and you see how the world is evolving in a bad way, then you probably can relate to this. But if you grow up, if you're a guy who has like a big family and most of them are gonna be living after you're dead and, and a lot of people love you and you and you have no problem with uh, with getting with women and all that stuff and you can get a wife and kids and all that stuff like perfect this video is not for you but this is for the guy who is automized who's alone who's lonely like who will be there for your funeral if you look at it that way through that perspective that you're a man and you're going to be lowered into the ground in a casket that the government paid for. So it's most likely going to be a shitty casket. You, you, you're most likely not going to get like a fancy tombstone. Probably just like a cross or a stick cross. Just, just pure like cheap wood with your name on it and some da dates. If they know the date you were born and everything, they probably have that in the system. And then you get lowered into the ground like some fucking sh like some <clears throat> if you look at it through that perspective then what really matters in the world right now you're gonna die alone have your funeral alone you're most likely going to live alone what does it matter all of this How can we then prevent this from happening? Like I have a couple of ways. The first one is the traditional route, right? You have to go to either a place or you have to work your ass off to find someone who is more traditional, who wants to be a wife and bring out kids. Because let's be honest, when you're older, you're going to want to have kids around you. I know it's cool to say you're on your grind and fuck kids and uh, fuck women and fuck everything but when you're older you're going to want to have had kids i've been working in uh, on the grocery store as a clerk for like over two years and six months like the people i meet who are the most miserable are the old people who has nothing they get more sick they have a worse time in the store because they have to pay for it and pack it all up. And that's not easy when you're 75 years old. The people that does the best, they can be 80, but they have a wife, they have some kids with them. Not kids, these people are like 30, 40 years old, but they have someone to take care of them when they're old. That's the meaning of having kids. That's like the reason why you get kids. You want to repopulate the earth, but you also want someone to take care of you when you're older. So you invest those 20 years of taking care of your kid for them to take care of you when you're older. If you don't have kids when you're older, I know it's hard for you to see it right now and to actually look into the future and think this is this, 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 this is going to happen, this is going to happen, this, 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 this is going to happen. But I'm going to be completely honest with you. 
the way the world is going, I don't think a lot of people are going to have kids. So you can't go out and see, okay, this is how it is right now. Because most people are couples. Most people have children and grandchildren. Because they're other generations, right? But our generation are just, well, we're just 20, 30 years old, right? So the consequences of our ideologies, which isn't our ideologies, this is our ideology, becoming Invictus, that's our ideology. But the ideologies in society, which is extremely leftist, which is extremely individual, because that's what all of this is, right? That's what all of this is. The rise in people living alone, it is an individualistic type of life. It's an egotistical type of life. You want to make money for yourself to consume and to live alone, right? You don't want to contribute to any type of society and any type of society is extremely, what can I call it? Oppressive. Society is oppressive. Like every type of society in the world is called oppressive because someone makes more money than this one and someone makes less money than him. And someone gets another job than him. And is it based on gender? Is it based on race? Everyone is oppressive. So society doesn't work anymore. Everyone wants to live in their own little bubble online. And they all want to live in their own little apartment in town, downtown. And they all want to live in that little apartment and eating and buying all of this shit themselves and consuming individualistically. No one wants to raise kids. No one wants to get married. No one wants to actually build something for the future. So that is the reason why I say in the start of the video is that no one will attend your funeral if you have one. Because who the fuck is going to pay for all of these funerals? That's also a thing. Like, oh yeah, these these thousands of people that are old right now and that are lonely and miserable and that have gone through life circumstances that make them not have people in their life that can pay for their funerals. Well, they have a funeral alone. They get lowered into the ground alone and they don't have anyone to buy a tombstone. So the government probably pays for a tombstone, right? Well, when thousands turn into tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands or even millions of people who are alone, we're going to have to just start um, not to be not to be like not to be extremely graphic or anything. But we, we, we're going to have to start burning people like, oh, he died yet. Yeah, take him down and burn him. Like we can't keep having funerals. Because you're going to have millions of people, especially men that are alone, that are atomized. Because you believe that this, like if you live like this now and you're in your 20s, like it's not going to change, bro. You're not going to just suddenly th turn 30 and life's going to be good. That's a lie. It's a lie. You're not going to turn 40 and then boom, someone will come and say, yeah, let's have kids. No, that's a lie. It starts when you're young. You're building all of this. You're building all of this up. Right? She's not going to get better. She's going to get worse and worse. Right? So, the question is, what can you do? Yeah, I told you about the traditional route you can go. The other route is just not die naturally. And I know this is graphic. Like, I'm not promoting this, like, to anyone. I'm not promoting it. I'm just saying. I've been thinking about this. Like, if you don't die natural... You're still going to have a funeral alone, but the thing is just, it's not going to be as, it's not going to be as sad. Like, think about this, bro. I, I don't know if you actually understand what I'm talking about right now. Like, bro, you're going to turn 60, 70. You're going to get all of these diseases. You're going to be tired. You're going to live alone in a retirement home, alone in your bed with people that are most likely going to mistreat you like they did with these people. There are documents about these people being mistreated because they have no one to call. Who are you going to talk to? Who are you going to say, he mistreated me? Oh, you're going to send a report, get the client, get mistreated even more? No, you're going to have six people around you who wants to abuse you, like, and misuse you. That's 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 your life. That's your future. <laughs> like, So you're going to live your last 10, 20, if God is hard on you, 25 years on this earth being misused, abused, alone. 
isn't it better to check out when you're 40, 50? You still have your legs. You can walk around. You can feed yourself. You got a heart attack. Now, bye-bye. You're not going to be alone for the last two part of your life. Because it, it works in your 20s to be alone. Because you look good and you own your grind and you can like cope with, I'm just working on myself. I can be alone. Cool. When you're in your 30s, being alone is fucking hard. Most likely going to be a nightmare. But you can still work through it. Just start a business and work on it for 18 hours every single day and cry yourself to sleep and it's going to work out. When you're 40, 50, like being alone is going to be most likely just extremely hard but you can work yourself to death then too and then when you're 50 something and you these all of these decisions start kicking in you start becoming weak and you can't take care of yourself isn't it better to just check out and be gone and how can you do that i don't know like this is why this is why i think PEDs is not that bad idea but i've been talking about this for way many way too many videos but that's why i think like, if you're in the gym and you love the gym, I know a lot of you guys love the gym. I get a lot of uh, cool responses on gym videos and everything. If you love the gym, why don't take something? Like, what do you have to lose? Really? Oh, you're going to die when you're 60? Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't want to live until I'm 85 in that fucking retirement home. I don't. And be tossed around like a little kid. Everyone treats me like I'm nothing. Watching them go home every weekend to their family. And I never had a family because I grew up in this generation. And I was alone for 50 years. Like, I don't want to live like that. I'm not going to live like that. That's not how I'm going to, that's not how I'm going to go out. So I'm just telling you, like, I don't have a big answer to how you can, like, get out of this situation, change your life. I don't know. Like, probably just have to do the right thing. And whatever that is, right? Whatever the right thing is. They always said that. Just do the right thing, bro. Just do the right thing. Just always do the right thing. So you have to figure out what that is. But you can go the traditional route and actually work your ass up and try to get kids and a wife. And then be beware, bro. You might be 40 and she leaves you. Take half of everything you got, probably like 80% of everything you got. You don't have a car anymore. You don't have a house. You got to pay a fuck ton of child support. You can't see your kids because you're the problem and you're an alcoholic in a lone apartment and lonely. So you didn't actually do anything. You just spent 15 years not alone. But you're now you're 40 something and you're alone again. And you're going to die alone. So it's either go the traditional path or you got to check out before you're 60, 70. You know? Just so you don't have to go through the retirement home phase because that is not that is not ideal for anyone. Or you can just get enough money to have own maids, like personal maids, and live in a good house and all of the maids work for you and you have like your own retirement home that you built yourself in another country. Like I've seen that in movies before, like these rich guys or cartel guys, they they got like maids and new home and everything. And, they sit there and they get help from everything and like they pay tens of thousands of dollars to have all these people working and you know if you have a lot of money you can do that but you're still lonely like you're still alone <laughs> sitting by your pool just with all these people working for you no one actually cares about you they just want their paycheck just like the world was to you when you was in your 20s and 30s and 40s nothing's really changed right so you got to figure it out i'm just telling you if you haven't thought about it, like, how are you going to go out? Start thinking about your death because it's going to happen. One day, you're going to be 66, 71, and you're going to be, what the fuck am I going to do? So if you think about it in your 20s and your mind is a little bit more sharp, maybe you can get out of it and escape that tremendously bad end and a tremendously bad ending that are waiting for us all. So if you like this video, then you like it to show me that you liked it. If you dislike it, then you dislike it. So you show me that you disliked it. You comment down below what you think because that's why we have comment sections. So you can talk and say what you think about this. Right? And then you should uh, follow, subscribe, follow the journey. See where I'm ending up. Take care of yourself. Stay awake, not walking.